Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Tia, The Awakening Return of the Giants. In the previous part we finally, we finally managed to get our expedition home. So off camera uh, I traded all the resources that we managed to gather to the village and also I played around with the gear bit so I tried to optimize it and I also equipped some better items uh, to our villagers so I think they now should be able uh, to handle some of the easier two skull fights. Uh, I gave them uh, mainly just uh, piercing damage. Uh, that's a huge advantage. So we don't have to worry about the village uh, that much anymore. Uh, in comments it's been recommended to me to uh, use some crafters or more crafters in the, uh, the expedition because uh, their abilities should help in uh, some types of challenges. Uh, I'll do that, but um, not yet, because we don't have that many crafters, and um, uh, we need to speed up the research, so I, I've even uh, stopped gathering the wood, because we have, you know, we have like 500 wood right now, so we are gathering only uh, vegetables in the village, and... Um, I'll add uh, uh, Jadwiga to uh, to our crafters. She's just uh, she's just started working on uh, uh, her crafting tool. So once that's done, uh, I'll equip it and um, she'll uh, be crafting food all the time. While our two main crafters uh, work on. Uh, everything else. For now I just started uh, some more spears. Again, these are only for research because before we uh, before we started working on uh, new pikes, those uh, that we want to use, made from uh, ancient wood, uh, moonstone, mithril and you know the uh, rarest resources, I want to construct smithy. And for smithy we need like 34 more uh, elven wood. Until we get that, we are just crafting anything that gives us experience and when we get that uh, elven wood we start working on items that we really want. Uh, it would be nice to get some of these uh, high-end pikes uh, of a good quality because that uh, would give us pikes with damage around like I'd say 25 plus 8 poison that would be amazing that's a really a lot of damage uh, but we'll see about that um, for now everyone uh, has a task and I think we can start playing for a while uh, we most likely won't be fighting that much because now yeah we want to get uh, uh, the good gear as fast as possible once we have that uh, we can focus on main quests and um, really progress in the game much faster for now i still don't feel safe uh, once so we get uh, to, uh, to like three four skull fights uh, there is still uh, a danger that we could uh, use uh, lose multiple people and um, yeah, I want to do something about that. But enough talking. Let's um, actually. I'm thinking if he should to just leave the village immediately or stay here in case we get an encounter in the village. Uh, one, two. Gonna be gathering from this stuff. So we can stay in the village for this turn. We only have one move left and it wouldn't change anything moving one tile. Okay, so now we move. And what we want is definitely the Elven Wood, that's the highest priority. Hundred sixty ninety five. Um, This is not enough. For, oh, it is enough. Good. So that's the almond wood. Then we want herbs because we can use that uh, to craft food. Hundred 
50, 70, 85. Okay. We could try to get one stack of coal. I don't think that we have enough people left. Yeah, that's 12 turns, 9 turns. You don't have to be here 9 turns. We need uh, like how much? 6 turns? Definitely want those herbs every turn. I want to boot every turn. But we can't do anything else. So what we could do maybe is just um, uh, get some wood because we are not gathering it in the village anymore. So we'll need to add some here and there. Okay, so that's the expedition. We are still crafting. So let's go. Oh, hello, new villager. Uh, another gatherer, gathering for what else? Who are basically just together? Oh, she has a, at least some speech skill uh, that could be useful. Uh, what can you do for now? You know what? You can get um, one gathering basket. Plus three is enough, and you can uh, you can get us some uh, wood. Okay, the X is trash. For now, you will get uh, this pike, but uh, once we get the better one, I'll replace it. Got uh, another bad quality item. Oh, and also I almost forgot I uh, this uh, mantled uh, all the items that uh, we don't need anymore. It was quite a lot of stuff, so we got um, quite a few basic materials that we can use mostly like as catalyst probably. But it's always useful to get the, these. Okay. And I'll just keep going. Should be four turns. Five. Let me check. Is it five or six? Twenty-four. Uh, oh, two more turns. So it was only four. Okay. So there is the hammer. So you'll work on the food. That's okay. And where is she? Here. But you are even strong enough to carry it. Is it the right person? Nope. Who the hell is that? Uh... This one. And she is not strong enough. Okay. I hope that um, this is gonna work. Oh. Ah, right. I used uh, some of the gold to craft the. Uh, to craft the hammer. That's why we can't make three of these anymore. Mm -hmm. So now you can make food every turn. And... And you guys are getting the resources every turn. Okay, good. Now it works. Can we maybe equip that... Uh, armor on someone oh you can get the better weapon or is it someone else I'm getting confused here uh, you need the better weapon okay and I will just uh, do the rest of camera don't know why but I'm I get really confused there One more turn. Nine 
Now we get back as fast as possible. Here is the elven wood. And uh, we need how much? Let's take 25 wood with us. Also, we don't have to keep herbs. And again, let's take the food. And we can also take... Uh, Actually, take the grain, take the buried meat, the normal meat. We just leave uh, vegetables and herbs. We don't even need the, all the veggies. Let's to take like 200. Okay. And now, we have to start working on the smithy. So that's Alvin with twice, and I'm gonna use what? Um, let's take the dark wood. I don't think that it really makes any difference what we use for the catalyst, but just in case, it can give us something better. I just keep trying, and I have uh, enough. I try to use. Uh, uh, a higher quality resource just to see if it can change anything. And both our crafters are going to work on this because uh, I want to have it done as soon as possible. I'm even thinking using them all. It's shave of a turn. Not sure if that's worth it. This is probably not. You'll get back to cooking. And now we have to decide what we're going to do with our expedition. I was thinking about this for a while and I don't know. We could maybe go this way and check the Cosmic Tree quest just to move on in the uh, main quest line. I don't want to go too far away from the village still. It's... Uh, uh, almost midnight. I said that uh, the village can defend itself a bit better, but it's still not ideal. Yeah, let's go this way. Check the cosmic tree, clear um, these ruins. And we go back and probably go north again and get more ancient wood. We still need more. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go back. I don't want to risk anything. Village can probably defend itself against uh, a couple skeletons, but it's safer to do it with the expedition. They are close, so why not? We just lose like two terrains, that's fine. For a while we are really in no hurry. Maybe. The whole land oh. is shaken with tremors. Groans and thudding footsteps are heard throughout. Oh, giants are waking up. Okay. Many people get bruised and thrown about. <sighs> this but sucks. The tremors eventually stop. But um, as long as we are not uh, getting heavily wounded from this, it's okay. We can just heal it uh, during camp. But this will show up uh, quite often, and it can be very annoying. Oh, more people are joining our village. And this is a medic. <laughs> uh, his uh, medic skill is not that high, but still. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Very decent speech skill. That's not bad. So let's um, kill those skeletons. That's 
one. That's two, and we can discard this one. And kill them. Come on. And these exes are nothing special, so let's get rid of them immediately. Uh, do we have enough movement points to get to the village? We do. The problem with medics is uh, they are usually very weak. You can see strength is only four, so they can't um, carry almost anything. Usually it's either a weapon or an armor. Get rid of this. 96. Let's just check, check how much can. It's probably he. How much can he carry? Only 200. That's 60. 96. Oh, he can take both. Okay, that's not bad. And um, this is a really, really light. Uh, Basket, so I, I think he can take that as well. That's one, two, yeah, and he can definitely have the basket, and we still have some reserve for the jewelry. That's actually not bad. Okay, we probably stay in the village. For this turn again, just one movement point, and uh, in case we get an event in the village, we can help with that. Okay, which way? Um, what does it look like with resources around? This would be a nice tile to set up a camp. First, you come across a dead body lying in some sort of ditch. Oh, the corpse is literally stomped into the ground. Okay, uh, what I wanted to say is, um, we s we could use the camp. We still need some healing and. Um, also, there are three uh, food resources there, but uh, this is uh, uh, our first event uh, that is related to giants, so they are really showing up now. Uh, we want to search the you body. You search the corpse and find some of its belongings still intact. Now that you take the time to look at the scene, you see that the ditch is actually more like a giant footprint. You see some more stuff lodged under the body. But you also feel the ground shake beneath you, and strange sounds coming towards this place. Uh, we got a decent sword, and now we can either stay or run. <laughs> we are not ready to fight giants. Uh, those things are crazy, so I'm gonna evade them. Uh, every time there's an option to just run away or evade them, I'll do that. Uh, so... We have the loot, just run for it. It will take a while before we'll be ready to fight giants. What can we do with a sword? You are using a sword that's uh, 13 6, so it's definitely an upgrade. We don't want to have too many people using swords, I don't like them. I really prefer either piercing damage or blunt damage. This is a really nice sword, so maybe you can have one person using it. Okay, and now... Let's make sure we have all the food. Mm, 
This is just the random one skull undead group. I can get rid of the skeleton immediately. I'm not even gonna check the shield, I, even if it was a good quality. We don't want that. Where do we want to start? Probably with the cosmic tree. You finally find what must have been the grove from the map, although there is little left but some stones and dirt here. And yet, among the rubble, stands a single tree, still green and thriving despite it all. When you approach, the tree opens its eyes and stares at you. Okay. Uh, we don't want to fight a five skull fight. That's for sure. So we just uh, try to uh, talk and hopefully we'll be able to avoid the fight. Hi there, we are searching for an elf that may have passed through here a long time ago, looking for answers to darkness. The tree blinks at you several times before moving its branches around, as if it was shifting in its place. Slowly, it begins talking. What is this elf thing you speak of, and how long is long ago? An eon? Two? Oh well, an elf is a kind of... Uh... Like a human, but with pointy ears and real pretty, and long ago was probably around a hundred years. I see. The children of Thea, you mean. Pretty young things, to be sure. In the old days, there used to be many in my grove. The tree looks around, as if for the first time, and you see its face twisting, and its eyes growing larger. My grove? Where is my grove? Where are all my charges? What have you done with them? Ah, what options do we have here? Let's go with the second option. Calm yourself, it's okay. Tia has been cursed with a hundred years of darkness. Your grift must have perished during that time. Oh, right. My apologies. Yes, that wretched cold night. It was rather unpleasant. Still, it was not it. It was a brother of mine. He took my herd. Hmm. I tell you what. I will tell you all about the elven child you speak of. The one seeking to cure us from darkness. But only if you hunt down and kill my brother. And bring me the remains of his flock. Your brother? You fleshy creatures oft call us Lishi, demons you say we are. And in all fairness, that description is wise. We are guardians of the forest, sons of the Silver Mother, and shepherds. My brother is thus, like me, a Lishi, but he is also a thieving wretch. He stole my flock from under me. Mad I am, he said. Mad and corrupted by the dark. Bah! Only because I did not think as he did. I did not seek to kill the so-called creatures of the dark. Ah, no matter. What does matter is that I need his wooden carcass and that of his flock so that I may regrow this grove. And it is my business why. Okay, fine. But how do I know you even uh, have the information I seek? I have what you seek right here. The tree crackles, the earth beneath it shakes a bit, and from the roots it brings out an elf. The elf is covered in soil and motionless, but he still breathes. This young man refused my pleas also, but we seem to have reached an impasse. He will not die, and yet I am not inclined to let him go. But if you do the deed, I shall free him. Okay, let's agree with this for now. How splendid. I have cast a spell upon you that will guide you to the traitor's hideout. Do watch yourselves. He is likely to have many allies. Now off you go. Okay, right. Get your brother and bring uh, you his remains. Leave. 
some experience for that and um, that's uh, another part of the quest unlocked we are not going for that yet uh, I want to get better gear definitely before we before we continue you can see that the challenges uh, are getting significantly higher there are five skull fight uh, we are definitely not ready for it so let's um, continue to these ruins we just stick to our plan to first get more ancient wood, get our better better pikes, and then we can uh, focus on the main quest, and it will be much easier. You find the remnants of a great old city in ruins. Oops. The mysteries it holds could be vast, but beware. <sighs> it looks as if the dead walk in great packs inside. Uh, I didn't expect this one. <laughs> I thought, like, well, that could be maybe, like, two skull. Hmm. We can camp after this. We still have one movement point left. But I don't think that I want to attack Forest Skull Undead again. This is not necessary. The location is going to stay here. So let's just leave. Is there anything interesting around? Nope. So I'll just uh, move away. And what can we do? We are just waiting uh, for our crafters. Maybe you could explore a bit, try to go south, explore here. Shouldn't have any problems in the village uh, during the day. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try to explore. Okay. Oh, what did we get? It's, oh, it's just not bad. Plus four, plus two. It's quite decent. And still, it's experience and research. So, why not? This is worth it. Um, it's actually decent for the medic. And let's um, let's camp here. There is a source of meat, and I think we still uh, need to heal some of the damage from those tremors. Making your way through the woodlands, you hear the cries of a child. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we want to investigate. You get in closer and see a young girl, maybe 10 years old, huddled among the bushes, surrounded by growling wolves. When the wolves smell you, they howl and run off. Oh, really? And it never happened uh, to me that they would just run away. I always had to fight them. But okay. The child gets up and walks over to you. She's wearing a long, rusty red coat and has two thick plaits sticking out from under a hood. Thank you, thank you, strangers. But now you must go and save my grandma. Oh, please go and save her. Actually, this is a different uh, event than I uh, than I thought it was. Okay, I know which one this is. This can be fun. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, follow this quest. My granny, she lives far in the woods. I was there, and the wolves came, and she told me to run. But now you must go and save her. Okay, lead the girl away. leads you to a solitary hut deep within these dark woods. An older woman appears at the door before you even knock. There are no signs of fighting or wolves, although you do see wolf tracks leading in and out of this place. The woman speaks. Keep your distance. I dislike people and the feeling proves mutual on most occasions. Did my unwavering grandchild lead you here? Yes, she said you were in trouble. You turn to point at the girl, but notice she is gone. The woman frowns and shakes her head. Stupid child, so stubborn, so wild. You should leave here, for I cannot hold myself calm this night. Suddenly, you're very aware of the red full moon shining above your heads. Where is she and what's going on here? The old woman grabs her stomach in a sudden convulsion of pain. When she straightens again, her face is twisted, and when she speaks, 
it's through a tightened jaw. She is away, of course, the snivelling, cowardly pup that she is. She'll bring me gifts every full moon. She'll torment me, never let me stow away the beast. But she never stays, afraid of my true anger. I was the one who killed her parents, not intentionally. Nevertheless, they followed me and died, and the child does not forgive. You speak in riddles, woman. What beast, what gift does she bring you? Why, you, of course. You are my sick gifts. Every full moon I lock myself here, warded against me leaving the circle. But she will not let me be. I am an ancient beast, a huntress of the night, a werewolf, if you must know. But I have sworn off killing and bloodshed. Yet my primal urges cannot be tamed at full moon. Only here can I stay safe. But when she brings me people... I don't want to fight her. I think there is an option to avoid the fight. So I'll go with the third option. All right. And yet here we stand, not eaten. Why? I prepared myself this time. I brought silver and elderflower cordial, and it slows my transformation. It pains me beyond words, and I cannot ever do it myself. Yet something needs doing. My pup will only grow wilder and more bloodthirsty. You must hunt her down and kill her. I will even give you an amulet so you can track her easier. Just please. Do it quick. Okay, so let's hunt her down. The woman nods, and tears run down her cheeks as she hands you a small ivory amulet, with an arrow always pointing in one direction. Here is the amulet, and my blessing upon you. Now go, for I feel my change coming, and you must not stay here. It's already quite decent, because um, uh, the boost to the trap skill is uh, uh, is permanent. And on top of that, on top of that uh, we have some extra dexterity for a while. So let's uh, go hunting. This really shouldn't be a problem. And her fledgling pack of wolves. You are able to shoot them down before they even realize they've been spotted. The girl's body is half turned into a wolf, but you still see the scared face of a child looking at you. You find a precious ruby necklace on her, with a drawing of her and an older woman inside. Okay, so we have a uh, guard bracelet. That's not bad. Uh, some rubies, and I'm quite curious what this armor is. Enchanted bone and mithril. That's a really good quality. Should be a medium armor, I think. No, probably heavy. I was thinking that uh, when the main material is enchanted bone, this could be a medium armor. But probably not. It's uh, almost uh, uh, 200 units heavy. Plus 40 magic from armor, that's a pretty good. So let's leave. And we definitely want to equip that. Okay. Uh, who's strong enough to carry it? Plus 15. Then this is uh, quite bad, and it's really heavy. Okay, congrats. That's a pretty significant upgrade. And I think I want to get rid of this bone spike armor, because uh, it's 220. And it's way too much. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, good. Any food around? Nope. So I'll just go this way. Oh, some more snakes. Maybe you could you try to kill them. by a small group of rugged-looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred, as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn, and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition, the last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. Money, or we'll kick your teeth in now. Okay, this is not bad. Uh, dwarves are always tough, but we know that we can kill them, and they, I think, always have some mithril with them, and usually they have uh, quite a good gear, so I definitely want to kill them. This time it's four of them, the last time we had three, I think. But we have some better gear now, we have, uh, uh, we have more people, so let's do this. Can we counter offense? I doubt that. I 
much piercing damage do we have in the main hand? Uh, not that much, but I think it's enough. I was thinking if I should uh, uh, keep an elf or not. I think I want to counter the tactics. And um, we could also try this one. I was afraid it's not gonna be enough. Okay, can we confuse them? Or do we have to rely on the first action? We'll have to go with the first action. Thirty-two... that's enough for a kill. Okay, so... You two guys have more than enough damage to kill this bandit. Now we just wait for the last one. Just uh, play our ca all cards. Uh, do we have supported ally? We do. And first action. Okay, once again, 32, 37. Don't want to make a mistake because you can see that their damage is pretty crazy. Okay, there we go. You have defeated the Dwarven Bandits. You realize a few of them have somehow broken their weapons in a last act of dying, but perhaps some can be salvaged. And you can see that it was uh, definitely worth it. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is, so let's start... Uh, from uh, the mithril 18 as i said they like always have uh, a lot of mithril so just uh, this makes the fight worth it um we have uh, better pikes this is a training sword we can get rid of that this is garbage come on what about the armor 18 this is probably an upgrade for one of our warriors so let's keep that Really, ancient wood is a secondary material that um, adds uh, the poison to it. But I think I'm gonna uh, dismantle it anyway. And I want to see what this is. Dragonfly song. Never seen that one before. That's garbage. Elven wood and ember. Is this a? Oh, it's a weapon. What type of weapon? Like one-handed sword. I'll keep it for now, I just want to check what uh, type of weapon it is. Blade? One-handed sword? Probably one-handed sword. Okay. So let's get rid of that now and you know what uh, type of item that, that was. And a lot of experience, good. Okay, we're strong enough to carry that armor. That's 205, then the thing is heavy. Okay, you are not strong enough. 15, 18, 18, 9. Congrats. And we will get rid of the uh, of this bone armor as well. And we are finally done with um, uh, with the smithy. So now what I'm gonna do, I'll make a cut here. Off camera, I will prepare uh, the crafting that we want to do now. So uh, the high quality items or high quality like uh, items from the highest quality materials. I'll have to think about it for a while. Like. The base material most of the time is going to be ancient wood, but I'll have to decide what uh, the secondary material is going to be, what uh, do we need, if we want more damage for some some of those weapons, if we, or if we just want to go with some secondary skills. Um, and I also have to check which materials we have available, so that, that, uh, so that could take a while. And in the next part... We will try to get to the village, grab the new gear, and go for more ancient wood. Okay. Um, in 
manage to do that much in this part. But um, even from those fights we did, we got uh, quite a few upgrades, uh, a lot of experience, so you got Mithril, so I think it was a good part again. And we also managed to progress in the main quest a little bit. So I hope you liked it, join me for the next part again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye!